stories tonight. And President Uhuru Kenyatta and his entire cabinet will take a pay cut as a symbol of commitment to cut public spending. The pay cut was one of the resolutions announced at the end of a five-day cabinet retreat in Nanyuki. Carol Derry has more. With a staggering wage bill and little good news to report on the first anniversary of his administration, the president needed a big announcement to end the week-long retreat. And it came in the form of a symbolic gesture about his pay and that of his deputy. My deputy and I will take a 20% pay cut and our cabinet secretaries and principal secretaries have accepted a 10% a pay cut with immediate effect. Although the cabinet will have no option but to go with what has been decided here, it will be a different ball game cascading the pay cut to the other cadres of public employees. But the president says it will not end here. We will draft a new international travel policy which will restrict foreign journeys to none but the most essential. The current wage bill is estimated at nearly 500 billion shillings, more than half of the government's total recurrent expenditure. The president says this only leaves 200 billion shillings for development projects and if not checked, this could ground the economy. In our own discussions, have come to terms with the fact that uh, the wage bill in this country is well above that which we can afford. And if truly we are to achieve the objectives of Vision 2030, if truly we are to be able to transform our nation, this is an area that we have to look at and give great thought to because it is one of the greatest threats that will deny us the ability to truly transform this country in the shortest possible time. The president, however, says it is not all bad news. He cites the now controversial Standard Gauge Railway as a key achievement that will change the pace of economic growth. He also praised the laptop project whose tender has been awarded. Carol Derry for KTN in Nanyuki.